It's in the, you're going on the Shiro homepage, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, this is Ben, and I am live here with Pat, and uh, I'm going to try my going, luck. How's it going, my dudes? Hey, yeah, he's, he's on here. And uh, so I'm going to try my luck at this cotton, too. And so I've been practicing for the past couple days. The problem is, is while this game uses three buttons, there is like a bazillion more combos and attacks and moves than just three buttons worth of moves. It's almost like playing a Mortal Kombat game at the same time as a shoot 'em up. Gotcha. Mortal so, Kombat. Me <laughs> I don't know. The only thing I know is the quarter circle stuff, where it's like you know you do the uh, do the shooting stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like a, another thing that I, I found, like one of the ones that I used a lot was back towards uh, a button, which shot like this massive shot, and it's the one who kind of it would bubble up the characters and you shoot them and bounce them around. Um, but I'm also playing. I'm on original hardware, and, and I'm using one of these retro bit uh, pink controllers uh, that I got. Uh, these things are pretty cool and uh, nice quality. Really like them. And so. Uh, well, let's get into this and see how embarrassed I make myself after checking this out. And let's see who's You always in. make yourself embarrassed. My God, yes, I know, right? And uh, so let's see. Natalie is in here. Hey, Nat. And, How's uh, it going? Also, yeah, I, uh, I, just realized I, I heard the sound in the background. Uh, I just realized that it was the stream of my phone when I was trying to share this out. So nice. I'm glad we, we cleared it up. It's been cleared up. <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. All right. I'm going to go with just the standard settings, which if I remember right, is like eight continues. And um, so here we go. Let's start. Let's start. Now, you want to press that start button, my dude? <laughs> Feel free to criticize me this entire way. This is going to be interesting. All right. Gotcha. I'm just curious if you haven't pressed the start. Okay, there we go. You press it on my end now. Uh, okay, yeah. So we got about a, a what delayed. seven second delay here. So this will be Maybe. fun. All right. So I'm not really 100 percent sure about the story, but it's basically like you want to get these candies or these candies, and you're saving this kingdom, I guess. Yeah. It was not really not really clear. It's all in Japanese, so it's very confusing and makes me cry. Because I don't understand it, and it's like yelling at me in Japanese. It's like, I don't understand you, I don't know, please leave me alone. Show that to my Facebook group, my Facebook page as well. Right. Pushing this little orb around and... Yep. Cool. Hey, Okay, so that's that big attack that creates the little bouncy ball thing here that I can throw around. Oh, crap. There's so much going on in this game, it's ridiculous. There's too much going on. We need to calm down. No, <laughs> it's, a, it's pretty good. I actually really like the it, game. I right, right. I played through it on easy when I was playing through um, when I did it for the, the 20, Shiro 25th anniversary. Yeah. And I I actually beat like three games. I was like, dang, I'm, I'm good. Not to pat myself on the back or anything, but well, it was right, on right. easy, so I mean, it wasn't too uh, hard. No, I've already died. And I, when I was playing on my machine, I've, I've been able to get through this point without dying, and I'm already suffering. Okay. Oh, that's another thing to note, is uh, when I was playing this before and practicing, I was uh, mm -hmm. playing this on uh, my uh, custom arcade cab that I have. And so... Uh, more low-key flexing by Ben. <laughs> low-key. Low-key flexing. It's like, ah, oh, my giant arcade machine over here. Ugh, I love playing on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's man. great. I'm, I'm going to have to show it off at some point. Dollars. It's so much fun. It's you know it's really cool, but I guess for you guys that don't know, uh, I'm just pl I'm just ripping on Ben. Uh, he has this really cool arcade machine that he's converting a one-up machine to a actual Saturn emulation machine. And uh, is it more than Saturn, or is it just Saturn you're yeah, focusing so on? Yeah, so it's uh, Saturn, Dreamcast, and uh, Sony STG3, the one that has like a um, Star Wars trilogy arcade. And uh, oh, so, I like that one. Yeah. How are you gonna? 
how are you gonna do the the, the stuff because you need the controls right like with the lightsaber yeah yeah exactly so right now i'm just doing it with the um the, the control is done okay so i've mimicked oh, a... a cool thing to do on this one is that um you should hit the c button while you're shooting because yeah. you shoot it the, the, the t you'll get it as well oh it okay. won't be as good but you'll get like points for shooting the t didn't know that okay and then you can and then you should also grab them and throw them as well against the screen and ricochets Right. I don't know, have you tried that yet? Is the doing the throwing motion? Yeah, so I've tried it, and like I said, okay, there's so many controls going on in this game that, like, I have to keep thinking about, am I throwing this orb? Am I launching a new enemy orb thing? Am I catching it? Should I bounce this around? Should I shoot it? it yeah, it's just crazy. And I try to stay off of the C button just because that gets rid of your magic, uh, or what I call magic. Yeah, one of the strats I really like using is the th using the throw a lot. So like, uh, mm -hmm. keep convoying. Like you know when you throw it and they have the the, the orb around them, just keep throwing and convoying that off, juggling them around. It's a, it's a giant juggle game. It's really fun. Yeah. See, like I just captured that enemy. I've got him bouncing around, and uh, he's if I can get him down there to combo on those. Right, let me do that. Ugh, there we go. Missed. Yeah, so it's it's always throw, it's always fun throwing it at the enemies as well. Right, exactly. Catch him, throw him at the spider. Do it again. Yeah, so it's a. Uh, it's pretty fun. What difficulty are you playing on? I'm on the normal difficulty. I gotcha. That's probably good. You, usually you can play. Usually I play it on easy just to beat it just for fun. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know, have you, um, I actually missed it. Did you fight the, 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 the long axe guy? You know, the one guy with the axe? Oh, uh, yes, yes, sure did. Okay, you just beat him, okay. I wasn't paying attention, sorry about that. Oh, crap. But a fun thing to do is you can, like, you can insta-kill him with your specials. Like, you can kill him, like, in a couple seconds. So you can spam and he dies, like, instantly, like, spawning. Right. Like, uh, I don't know if you ever played Star Fox before? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Do you remember the first boss uh, in Corneria where or 64, the first boss where it's like that tank guy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Where he spins around real yeah, slowly. It, yeah. What you can do that I think is really funny is that you shoot two bombs off. You just shoot all over the place, and you can just kill him before he even has a, the first line of dialogue. It's like oh, the nice. one thing comes up that, from the talk, and then it's and then it's like the next thing is like when it, my emperor, I failed you, and blows up. It's like just a couple seconds. It's pretty funny doing it. I used to be able to do it consistently, but now it takes me a little bit more to do it since I don't play it that as often as I used to. Right, right. Oh, I forgot that if you hold down the B button, it speeds you up. Is it the B? Is it? Nope, it's the A button. Uh, yeah, and it, it does that like the the, van the little vanish thing. Like yeah, little, yeah, uh, exactly. Silhouette, or whatever that is. Which comes in very handy with this next boss that's in this little corridor right here. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even think about using that for that boss. I probably should have. That probably would have helped make made me suck a lot less. But you know. Oh God! Almost dodged all. Okay, there we go. Got to got to do the matrix on it. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so Nat is saying this level reminds me of Harmful Park. Oh, that's harmful. a game I have to play. Oh my God! I want to play is that, that so bad. Is that bad. the arcade one, or is that the? Is that another shoot 'em up? It's another shoot 'em up, but it's like a weird shoot 'em up that's about the closest thing I can think of a sexy Parodius. I gotcha. Cause I is that a that's PS2 or is that Saturn as well? Uh, I think that or PS1. Is, sorry. Um, Harmful Park I think is PS1. I gotcha. That's that. Ex it's expensive, right? Yes. Yes. That is a very expensive game. Super rare. Yeah, I kind of want to get that one. Like, I actually actually just recently picked up a couple of pickups on PS1. Uh, hashtag forget about Saturn. No, is it um, right? I got um, I got Einhander on the PS1, and yes. I got great game. Oh no, actually I did get a Saturn pickup. I okay. got Castlevania Symphony of the Night on Saturn, or I guess technically uh, Nocturne of the Moonlight if you yeah, want to yeah. be really technical. Or, no, sorry, if you want to be really technical, Aki Majo Dracula X. Okay. Nocturne of the Moonlight. There we go. That's the correct title. But yeah, I just picked that up on Saturn. Like they had it at a store, and actually it was kind of funny. I was uh, meeting up with it was a friend of mine that has the store, and we and he actually had a copy of um, 
Uh, I, I was looking at a couple things. It was a copy of the um, uh, what was that RPG on the Saturn? That, I can't remember what the name of it. It's like the that, that famous RPG by by work working design or something. Um, uh, um, Dragon. It was, it was like a. Uh, it was it was like no it was on a PS one it oh. was the uh it was it was like that collection of games I can't remember what the name of that that collection was it was like four games four um games, four games let me see it was that... East of Eden I know that no 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 um oh Ark of Lad collection oh That's yeah 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 okay yes the big massive box that PS one had yeah Ark oh John Hancock joined hey how's it going John hey John. Uh, yeah, but I, I picked that up, um, the 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 Ark, Ark the Lad collection, and I found, opened it up, and I found out that it actually that he had it for a hundred dollars for the, it was basically like a is like near mint. Yeah. And then I opened it up, and then I looked at it, and I realized, oh my gosh, this is actually completely sealed. Everything oh, was brand so new, cool. and he had it for a hundred. Yeah. But like like I was telling him, like we were just talking, and I, I was like, you know what, I'm not really a big Ark the Lad fan. I'm just gonna go get Iron Honda instead. So I get Einhander, and yeah. it's like, oh man, I'm gonna be honest. I'm glad you didn't pick up Ark the Lad because I just noticed that was completely sealed. Sure. It's like, sure. oh yeah, no problem, dude. I I, I don't open sealed anyways. Because right. like if I had it, if I bought it, I would have opened it like dumbly because I I'm, I just do that for fun. Because I want to play the games, not like collect them. Right. Right. So yeah, so I just I just passed on that that, and he's like, yeah, you know what, for help. For not doing that and being being kind of cool, dude, I'll like give you ten percent off. So nice. So I got ten percent off of Einhander, and so, I think I got some. Oh, I got the the first issue of Dreamcast magazine. That's super cool. So that was kind of nice. So I picked those up, and uh, yeah, and then I picked up uh, the 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 Saturn one because they had a bunch of cool games, like the Christmas stuff. I had some extra gift cards lying around. So. Right. But uh, but yeah, how's your uh, your Saturn stuff been going? Oh, mine's been going pretty good. I, uh, I'm trying to think of the most recent things I've been picking up were some of the Japanese stuff. Like uh, I got the um, what was it? Um, uh, Soku Garantai. Uh, that was one of the latest ones that I picked up, and uh, I played that online at one point recently, and I really enjoyed that. What's that? What's that game about? Uh, Soki Garantai? That's a uh, shoot 'em up. Okay, I need yeah. to look up the that game. Uh, what's the cover look like? Uh, the cover, it's Terra Diver. If you remember Terra Diver. Oh, it's Terra Diver. Yeah. Okay, you should have said that. I don't know. I don't know these games. <laughs> oh. Terra Diver. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. You got that for Saturn, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you? Uh, it wasn't the issue that that uh, that K had, right, with the import uh, copy of it or the? Yes, yes, like. So that's the one game that I actually had to even burn a copy of my own game just so I could play it as a patched version. Like Oh wow, so it the, did have that issue. Yeah, like the original disc did not work in my American system. Oof. Yeah, yep. no that, that that I'm sorry to hear that man, that really sucks. No, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I have to do a couple of those for my Dreamcast games because they're not RGB compatible. Yeah. Oops. Weirdly enough, they're 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 you can play them on composite and as a video, but if you do RB RGB, it does not work. Right. So uh, there's a couple of like a uh, like Street Fighter Alpha Three I have to burn, and I have to play a burn copy, and then a uh, Giga Wing I have to burn. Yeah, sure. But weirdly, I can play Street Fighter uh, Third Strike, which is the most important one, so I'm very happy about that without using a burnt disc. That's a good game. Yeah, I love that one. That's that's my favorite Street Fighter. But yeah, no, if you notice, you shoot them, and you can actually pick up the the you can actually get points for it as well, as well as getting health back. Right, right. And you can also throw them against the wall and ricochet it to get them to either bounce off or bounce back into you, so that way you can try to get as much as possible. I gotcha. But as you can see, I'm not very good at it. Like uh, Peter had mentioned. You try on your best. You're trying your best, dude. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> You're trying. Doing your best. Yeah, Doing so, your best, dude. Yeah, Peter Fuck mentioned, it. like, it's possible to get 40 of those drops. And I'm like, I don't even know how many I'm getting, but I feel like I'm only getting, like, 10 or 20, it seems like. Yeah, Peter's, like, the ga the master of this game. Oh. I wish I was really good with this game. Yeah, hey, you're I better am than not, I am. I <laughs> 
but maybe this is why they, uh, our watchers or viewers wanted us to play this game because it's, uh, it's such a challenge and this one's just so unique in what it is. I think, I think that's what I like about it is that it's, ch it's challenging if you want to like ramp it up, but if you just want to breeze through it on easy, you can, and it's not really a big deal. Just put all the lives up Right. and you can play through it and beat it. It's not like too difficult on easy at least. Well, some games like uh, Ikaruga, I can barely get through on easy. Oh my god. That one is like a, uh, a messes with your head completely. Yeah, that one and uh, yeah, all the treasure games I'm pretty bad at. I, I really wish I was, I was better, but it's like all that time investment trying to play it. Sure. And all that strategy and stuff. So it's 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 difficult, but I, but I really enjoy playing it as much as I can. But one game I've actually been playing is that the I saw online the the Napple you know Napple Tales right for Dreamcast oh, yeah, got that yeah. English patch. Yeah, yeah. So I just I just picked that up myself. So, well, I, I wanted to play it, like, I got the Japanese one I've been playing, and it's actually pretty fun, besides the fact I don't know what's going on. Right. Which would probably come in handy for the English patch, but I'm just playing the <laughs> the regular patch. Right. So, uh, but yeah, or the right, sorry, the regular patch, the regular version of it, so. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. been pretty fun, though. Nice. I enjoy it a lot. It's been, uh, it's been a really fun, fun experience playing that, but... Yeah, besides that, just been playing Magic the Gathering and uh, Pokemon TCG Online, I guess. Right, right. Very Saturn-related stuff, but if oh, you think absolutely. about it... But actually, uh, the Magic the Gathering was on Dreamcast. There was a Magic card game on Dreamcast. So, unfortunately, Aww. it's all in <laughs> Japanese, so... Yeah. Ooh, this is the difficult part where it's ramping up that speed, oh trying God. to get yeah. through these keys. And I went through the wrong section just a minute ago, too. I hate when that happens. Oh, yeah, you went through the top instead of the bottom. Yeah, exactly. And so I'm like, and I'm wedged. It's like, and dead. But yeah, so you've been, uh, have you, I imagine you've been playing this, right? And, uh, Terror Diver? Yes, yes. Flip through. Nice. But yeah, no, I really oh. need to play some more Saturn and stuff. I'm, I'm playing Game Paradise, ramping up this video I'm working on. Yeah. Just need to find time to finish that up, but I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost done. I just need to capture it and record some footage and do some VO work, and I should be good. But it's a lot of, lot of stuff. Right. As you can imagine, imagine you, as oh you're, you're doing video as well. Oh, absolutely, and uh, I am so far behind on videos, it's ridiculous. Yeah, ooh, it just glitched down on me. It, like, uh, it's stuck on the... Okay, there it is. Probably just my video card. Video pooping out. Oh, man. I can't get my combos uh, triggered off. Oh, no. Yeah, it doesn't help I'm talking with you as well, right? Oh, no, no. You're fine. I'm sitting here like I'm hitting the buttons in a like a back-forward motion. Back, back down A, back forward A. And it just, uh, oh, come on, I gotta get this guy. Ooh, yeah, no, I, I hate combos under pressure because I can never do them or pull shoot. them off. He's doing the full wave, crap. Oh, oh, that's the it. Full wave. Oh, where, where he goes up and down in like the sweep, you know. Oof, I hate oh, that. I'm gonna read some of these comments here real quick. I'm gonna see how, uh, how critical people are being of me. Let's see what we got here. Uh, uh, I'm seeing Patrick says you're garbage at this game. Stop. <laughs> yes, absolutely. No. no, you're good, my dude. Okay, Gabriel, I agree with him. He is saying he wished they brought this back on the PS4 or the consoles. Absolutely, yes. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, I 100% agree. Okay, okay. Uh, so would you prefer to have Cotton 2 version or would you want Cotton Boomerang? Because, okay, so the big difference mm. is, um, for those who don't know, um, they're basically kind of the same game, but Cotton 2, I have a life meter. Cotton Boomerang, I do not. The magic works a little differently. It, it's it's quite different, but the, it's the same. It's kind of, it, it's hard to explain. You know, actually, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, I think the thing is that Cotton Boomerang is more for arcades on using the Titan STV. Yeah. And the, and the cool thing is actually um, there's this, this convention out here called uh, ZapCon and somebody in Arizona and somebody actually brought out two machines, a a, uh, a Radiant Silver Gun machine and a Cotton Boomerang machine. 
and they like modded it with all the artwork and stuff for it. So it's the the U.S. sort of like the that that sort of base like they had for yeah. other games, but except there's or orientated for Cotton Two and Radiant Silver Gun. Okay, so the this, only issue this time, just real quick, I'm gonna fill in. Uh, we're gonna go through Saturn mode. What I was playing through was arcade mode. This time we're gonna go through Saturn mode. I'm not gonna ramp it down to easy. No, I'm gonna do normal, but I did make my life meter a little better. There, it's probably for the best. Absolutely. Got but you. yeah, no, it was really cool. The the guy like I guess he maybe modded like a couple of the um the uh, diehard arcade machines. Yeah. And maybe did something with that. The the only issue though is that he he actually I learned I learned interesting enough that the buttons that I thought that he didn't wire the buttons right. It turned out that some of the buttons aren't mapped for the North American version. Yes, yes. Okay, and that is for Radiant Silver Gun uh, American version. There's only two buttons, whereas the um, Japanese version there's the three buttons, and they're like the regular STV. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's that's what I was getting confused when I was playing it because I was trying to do the combos, and I couldn't get some of the weapons out. And it's like, it's like I, I'm losing because I don't have my sword. I, I couldn't pull out my sword or. And do some of the, the the cool combos and some of the uh, the area control moves, which right. kind of really. I, I thought it said the buttons weren't set up. It just that's the way it was for the. I think you even told me that, right, Ben? I, I'm no, yeah, that was me. And the reason I know this uh, for the people who don't know is I have an STV sitting out in my garage, um, and eventually, uh, actually, you know, and I even have a, a another STV board right here, so. Um, oh, you actually have two. Yeah, yeah, Pat. This this is actually probably your board because you had asked me for one as well. So I think. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Send that yeah. out to me. I'll so, give so, you. A, was it was it the fifty dollars right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and then you got the what is Ooh, that? What Die games coming with that? Die Hard Arcade. Ooh, hell yeah, dude! Yeah, so, just let let me know that info. I'll drop that cash <laughs> and send that my way, please. Sounds good. All right. I actually didn't know you picked up another board. I, I, did. I didn't hear back from you. That. Yeah, I um, basically went back because I needed to get some pieces for my system because there was something missing. And when mm -hmm. I was there, I picked up a second board. Oh, nice. Did he have any other boards, or was it just, or was it just that STV? Uh, he, well, huh, he has a lot more boards. He has like a thousand arcade machines that are just in this boneyard, and. Uh, so they're all they all need work. Every single one of them needs gotcha. work. And so but of course, obviously I have like um just really interest in the STVs because of Saturn, you know. Because you're a nerd, yeah. Because I'm a nerd, yeah, exactly. No, that's that's really cool. Did you were you able to test out the board? Uh yeah, yeah, works just fine. Um Sweet. there was there was a board that I had picked up before that was it worked except for oh oh he actually hit me that time the card slot wasn't working and so um, oh normally I can back up just enough and it didn't work okay let me pick him up Whee! all right tea time but yeah no that's uh yeah that's really cool though. Yeah, I wish I had a place like that. I don't. We don't really have anything out here for stuff like that in Arizona. Yeah. There's just one place, but they're not cheap. But they do redo their arcade machines, so I guess oh, I guess you pay what you get for, right? Right. Exactly. And he's actually he's actually said that he's trying to get a a a, a cargo buy together for some uh for some candy cabs. Nice. So I'm hoping they'll vet them, and I think he said it was like uh, going to be a thousand to fifteen hundred. Yeah. And I'll drop that cash and get some get some candy. Awesome. Because I really just want like one, like at least one arcade machine. I, I think the one I want the most is like a Initial D machine would be kind of cool. I don't blame you. Initial D is fantastic. Yeah, we were actually just talking about that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, you still there, Pat? We lost Pat for a second there. That is. I'm quite here. A... Oh, there you are. Okay, sorry. I'm here. Jeez. I'm getting better I'm at trying the. Trying to lose uh... me. Yeah, I'm getting better at the basketball toss with these uh, characters when I grab them. Nice. Oh, oh man, I was about to. 
I was about to say just like Kobe, but then I, I just I just remembered. It's like, oh. Oh yeah. I was super bummed about that. R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. Oh man, me too. That's that was really sad. Yeah, like uh, it's like even people that like even my roommate's not a basketball guy, and he knew he knew the weight of losing Kobe, which I thought was kind of crazy. So it showed like how sort of universal, even with the the, the whole. The whole Kobe thing, you know, you. I don't know if you if you ever did it, where you like you making a, a basket with like something or like a a long shot, like a piece of trash in the rubbish bin, right. and you just yell and you throw it into Kobe. <laughs> but yeah, I know. But, but yeah, besides, besides on, on that down note, um, yeah. Uh, how is your arcades going? I know you're working on the. Of course, your Saturn board. Did yeah. you get the artwork in, or your Saturn okay. arcade machine? Nope, not yet. The um, so I'm trying to finish up the electronics first. And um, what's also really cool is, uh, other than, and the parts on order. Like the um, the display just has a vertical collapse. And anybody who's worked with arcade machines knows what that is. It's just basically where you're flatlining Oof. on the screen. And so, yeah, I actually got a nasty burn on one of my PVMs from the previous owner that had that. Right. Yeah, it had a huge burn. I sold it recently, but because it kind of bothered me a bit. But I mean, even with the burn, and I still made a good 250 off of it. Oh, nice. But uh, those the PVMs other... are not cheap. Oh, no kidding. So the other machine that I'm working on is actually four machines. Is I have four San Francisco Rush cabinets. Oh, damn, that's awesome. And... Well, remember, they're all broken, and so the idea was I'm going to get two or three functional out of those. And uh, so far, I've gotten two of them mostly working. And so I'm uh, basically getting the third one going and uh, hook them up in the garage, clean them up, be good to go. Nice. I should really plan a trip out there or something. We yes. can. Just Absolutely. do a bunch of arcade stuff for like a weekend or a week or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm all for you it. You show me around. Uh, you're from Tennessee, right? Yep. You're where? Gotcha. I forgot where. You're, Arizona? Yep. Nice. Oh, we got It's kind of crazy, though. I think you're the only Shiro I've met in person yet. Nice. Actually, yeah, yeah, no, technically you are the only Shiro I've met in person. Because we did that E3 thing. Yep, yep. That was a lot of fun, too. Yeah, I'd like to do it again, but like, I'm not feeling E3 this year, unfortunately. I know. Like, as in, like, buying in? Yeah, see, I'm torn on it. Like, the with the PS5 and the Xbox YZ, X Series, whatever crap they're calling it now, um, I would figure that the, this next E3 would be really fascinating to see what they have. Um, but I don't know. Like, to me, what's funny is the biggest thing that I think that the Xbox and the uh, PS5 can offer is full backwards compatibility. Yeah, uh, like, I think that's that's that was interesting. And the thing is, that I think Sony's hinting it might be FPGA. That'd be nice. Yeah. I, I don't know if you saw like the thing, but it's like um, somebody posted online about that that potentially it could have been like they were hinting at like you know it's not emulation, it's something a little bit more than that. So yeah. It, like, the only thing that we've gotten confirmed so far is your PS4 digital games will transfer to the PS5. And I'm like, okay, that's great. But what we really want is PlayStation 1, Candy? 2, and 3 discs to be put into the PS5. I think that's might, that might be what they alluded to because the person... Of course, it's you know screenshots, rumors. You know how how it how it is. Oh, absolutely. Like they're like saying, "Don't get rid of your P your your." Actually, I think Sony tweeted that too. Don't get rid of your PS One or PS Three games. I think. Right. I could be wrong. I usually am, like ninety percent of the time, hundred <laughs> percent of the time. Ugh, I'm wrong so many times. John Ricks. Did, okay, some other challenge that I realized with this game is those jewels, which you're like, yeah, those are your your power jewels. You want to pick those up. When you're shooting, they get in the way, and that can be very frustrating. Because you'll, sh you'll shoot them instead of the enemies. Oof, yeah. Oof. Come on. 
cotton. I do really like the level, the level layouts and designs in this in this game, though. Yeah. And actually, I'm I'm actually a big cotton fan. Like I love, I love cotton not only on my shirts but in my consoles. Right, right. But yeah, like I have um, I just collection wise, I have um, I have cot I have 100% cotton 100% on the Super Nintendo, which is really fun. Um, I have and I have a. Uh, Panorama Cotton that uh, a friend of mine did a repro of. Uh, uh, I think Johnny Mono. So shouts out to Johnny Mono for doing that. He's a cool yep. friend of the cast. Yep, absolutely. Good guy there. Have you, did you have the opportunity to meet him? I think you oh, you went to PRGE. Yeah, I've met him uh, uh, twice uh, last year and the year before at PRGE. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to get down to Arizona so we can. Because he, he originally lived in Arizona for a while. Mm hmm. So let's do a little like a meetup or like a cast because we get a lot of stuff we gotta. So I, I really want to do another cast, another like stream or cast of mono. He's a cool dude. I like him. Yes, very much so. Burp. It sure beats Ben. I'm just joking. Oh ben. my god, yeah, that Ben guy. Oh yes. man, man, I just wanna just wanna stop casting. No, uh, but no, I actually really actually really enjoy doing these casts, especially when I'm not playing it, because like, I can talk a lot more when I'm and be more coherent than when I'm trying to play it. Right, right. And I'll see what I can so do it's here. really nice, but we'll have to sort of try to get maybe a, a weekly stream going. I know it might be busy. It might be hard for you, especially with your work. Uh, my work does get interesting, but I would love to do that. Absolutely. Like, it may switch off, like you know, have you play it and I do one. You know, it sort of bounce on them. We can play play off each other. Oh. Oh, yeah, man. I like this guy. He reminds me of the first enemy and and uh, and. Grady, I think it was a Gradius or was it another game? I can't remember. What's uh, like that tentacle boss? Uh, no, the first boss in Gradius. Or, or, oh, you're thinking of I'm um, thinking of Darius Gaiden. That was. Am I thinking Gradius? I mean, uh, I think I'm thinking Gradius three. Yeah. The one boss with like, that thing. It's like he's shooting out tentacles. Right. But yeah, no, I like I love Gradius three. I'm awful at it, but I like I like the game. Right, right. Oh shoot. Also, we got Mr. David in the chat. How's it going, Mr. David? David Lee of the Shiro, Shiro Saturn Dave, David, so. Or as I like to refer to him as uh, Mr. David Lee Roth from the famous <laughs> rock yes. band Saturn. Do, 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 Panama. Is, I am doing much worse on the Saturn version with a larger lifeline than I am the arcade version with less life. So, so they they one... probably make it harder on purpose just to screw with you. My God, no, they're screwing with me, like particularly. <laughs> they're like Ben's gonna play this, so we've got to mess with him. I see, even my my witch girl right there is angry too. All right. Hey, okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, there we go with cat one. Throw. Better. Ugh, oh, this is that challenging level too. With like just everything going on. It's like almond factories. Okay, let's see what we got here. Those are like the uh, spiny shells in Mario. Spiny. Yeah. I like these things that shoot the uh, almonds at you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. At least I think they're almonds. At least I hope they're almonds. It, uh, yeah, no kidding, right? Like, what else would they be? Ah, oh, here we go. Perfect. Yes. After. Yeah. Me. Also, speaking speaking of Dave, uh, he actually just tweeted he got a setup back up and running for his live streams. Yay, that's fun. So hopefully we'll be able to see more through Shiro or Saturn Day. It'll be kind of kind of yeah. cool pop in. And then of course it's always fun to listen to um oh, uh, where um panda 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 um pandemonium. Pandemonium. There we go. Wow. 
He's literally in the Arcast and he forgot his name. No, I was sitting here trying to, I, I'm, I'm in the middle of a dragon fight with a, he's only a head and I'm like. As, as a leader of Shiro, I'm now I'm, demoting you I'm, to, I'm to, to, uh, to regular member. What? No, sorry. I don't even regular, know what I was before. Sorry, no. <laughs> well, now you're demoted to to Moonlighter, so Moonlighter, you're okay. at will employment here, buddy. Gotcha. So one wrong route, wrong, so wrong, wrong, one wrong move, and you're gone. No, <laughs> and I'm done. Not at all. No. Oh, oh no! Oh no! That's it. Okay. If anything, you should probably put me on Moonlighter. I'm pretty, I'm pretty flaky. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to do this again, and this time we got it. We got it. Okay. And, and I'm not doing easy. I can't do easy. That's oh. so. Come on, Ben. But give right. him to the dark side. Oh. Also, that's really loud. Sorry I'll, about I'll, that. Although I am going to get that like larger lifeline. There, but I'm, it's it's going to be arcade mode. Okay, hang on. So is it going to be large or is it going to be lords like L O R G E like lords? Lords. I've, I've seen weird Lorge. typos in Japanese games with the English. Okay, so we're going to our Lorge. difficult. See, we're not no, we're not doing easy. I'm just saying, Lord, Lord. There wasn't a typo. I just said Lorge because, like, large. That's what that's what my 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 siblings say. We say Lorge. We have all these all these little little nit, weird things and right, things we right. say sayings because we're psychopaths. I wonder what this left is. Like left zero, one, and two, and three. Hmm. Okay. Really? I think that might be for the screen, maybe. Oh, that's life. That's life. Sorry, that's your, your continues. Left. Oh, yeah. Let, so let's you don't do want to set that to zero, or you're yeah, gonna be dead yes. instantly. Right. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna put that to three. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. not gonna be right if you set that to left. left if you know right. what I'm saying. Right. So it's left is equal to right, which is maximum. Got it. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. So. Yeah. Left is right, and right is left, and you don't want to be left without right. Uh, right. Right. I mean left. Okay, here we go. We got this this time. We're we're getting through it. Gotcha. All right, all right. So, again. You know, I had Stardew Valley installed for like weeks I've, or months. I've not played it yet. I haven't done that one either. But it took me forever to even try out um, uh, Minecraft. Yeah, I like Minecraft. I played a lot. A, the thing is, I play a lot of games where it's like my siblings play so like my siblings are all doing animal crossing right now and i'm yeah also doing animal crossing so like we're, we're both doing that being weirdos uh i actually i've actually been doing a lot of magic which is taking up more time than i like to admit yeah but it's, it's okay. fun yeah playing magic i love card yeah. games card game patrick that's me card game patrick well, that needs to be one of our channels our game, Patrick. Uh, probably. I, I guess I don't know. I'm not good at them, so. Right. Have to have to think about that one. But yeah, I I don't. Yeah, I'm only okay at magic. I'm not great by any stretch of the means. Gotcha. Any means of the stretch. Any, any, any meanings of meaning. I'm only moderately okay with magic. But I still enjoy it. It's a fun game. Right, right. I don't. Do you have any of those games where it's like you're you're only okay at, but you still enjoy playing it a lot? Honestly, Magic is probably one of those because I get gotcha. my butt handed to me every time I play it, but I really enjoy it. You have a good time. That's that's the yeah, important part. That, that's really it. Humorously enough, the one game that I cannot get into is Dungeons and Dragons. Like I have tried, Oof. and I, you I you love. Don't your wizard hat and robes. I love board games. I love console games. Love PC games. Arcade games. Do not like jumping into dragons. Don't like. Don't like those dragons. Let's see here. Got his weapons. Oh, oh, here he comes. See, this is normally how I was doing on the machine. Uh, you know, I was just carry him up and throw. Boom. All 
All right. Tea time it is. Like all that tea. Right. Boing. There we go. All right. Let's check the chat. See what we got going on. Oh, I need to scroll down. I need to keep a track on this. All right. I think Peter's in here. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, yeah. David is the one who said uh, left equals lives remaining. Thanks, Dave. Thank All you, right. Mr. Dave. All right. Let's see here. Like I said, it, it's really weird when the Japanese translation doesn't exactly mean exactly the same in American or English. Engl no, I don't need to say in American. American. That's horrible. That is so horrible. <laughs> speak American. Oh, my God. Speak American here. Okay. Speak American. <laughs> Peter oh. loves this game. Uh, yes, yes, Jason. Yes, Jason. This is actually Cotton 2. Uh Maybe we'll put put in boomerang. Maybe I don't know. I'm kind of feeling cotton too. I kind of prefer that. See what? Um, I'm tempted. Like if we do a boomerang, like to do it on because I have it for the STV, and uh, mm -hmm. to try to do a stream from the STV itself. So it'd be the actual arcade version. That'd be kind of cool. Of course, that's going to be a lot of stuff. Do you have like a splitter or something for that? Yeah, yeah. I'll have to get a little creative with the video. And I gotcha. think I know exactly how to do it. Right, there we go. Oh. Also, I just had a funny match in Magic. There's this one card where it has two abilities. Yeah. Where it's either it's either you you kill a monster by and sacrifice two lives, or you summon him into the field as a monster. Uh, he accidentally summoned him as a field in the mon in yeah. the field as a monster, and as soon as he made that mistake, he surrendered and gave up. Because <laughs> like, nope. Guess he's just having an off day. All right. I feel that though. Oh god, yeah, right. Just you know, one misplay and it's like we're all done. Did I actually miss this pumpkin with two of my specials? That'd be ridiculous. Oh, it actually ate me. Just okay. goes right through him. Yeah. I definitely know that feel. It goes right through you. Oh, so much. Oh, there's a little pumpkin. There we go. Like those pumpkins. Right? I like those pumpkins. I love the pumpkins. Oh, I went after that jewel and I wasn't really thinking about the, uh... oh, there they came. All right, here we go. Ice crystal. Oh, almost dodged them all. Big oof energy. You know, normally I can't keep plants alive, and for this one, I can't seem to kill it. Oof. Oh, I'm surprised that actually hit me. Oh well. Maybe it's right. a weed, because that's usually how it is with the weeds, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, weeds just don't go away. It's definitely a weed. Nope. Oh, there we go. Done. Grab him. Nope. Missed him. Okay. Tea time. Love that tea. I prefer iced tea, though. Yeah, well, I'm more of like a sweet tea guy, but that's my southern coming in. Sam gotcha. would understand. Sam the man.
like it's funny at fast food restaurants we have sweet tea and unsweet tea and the only real use for unsweet tea is to make more sweet tea when the sweet tea runs out just gotta love that sweet tea i mean right the sweetest of teas <laughs> let's see what we got going on in the chat here oh wow got a bunch okay let's see is this cotton yep cotton too cool do a quarter circle and shoot okay i'm gonna have to remember that from quarter sucker forward to up but you need a slow crystal i know about your ice shits bounce off walls i love it ice shits i'm gonna remember that okay um let's see oh that's cold okay great uh oh wait what did he say okay i needed one crystal but i needed to do a circle up attack and this is where i didn't like using the crystals up with the the c ah there we go there we go so the c button uses up your crystals and i hated doing that like it trap this guy do that um it was a really interesting take on this there's our one of our almond shooters there because um you have your you know your big attack your you know your bomb attack you would see in most like shoot 'em up games and it's like you don't really want to use it because um you have to make sure that you have at least like three crystals in your inventory to be able to do certain type of attacks oh oh man come on Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so that's a first continue. No problem. Get those three. There we go. Let's see. He said forward to up. Is that what he said? Um, I'm looking for it quickly. This is me looking on... Uh, I'm, I'm on a pause so I can read this, because Peter actually had me a little... uh quarter circle forward to up then shoot okay all right it doesn't use crystals okay all right let's try this oh oh i love it oh no wonder peter's good at this <laughs> Tried to hit it, didn't seem to work. All right. Did I lose you, Pat? No, I'm still here. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. How's it going? It is going pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I know about the back forward. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, almost been able to fight him off. Okay. The back forward shot. And I know about the forward forward shot. But, let's see. And, and so Peter was telling me about... Oh, let me get the turbo going so I can dodge these. Is the forward roll to up shot, which is this... Which is cool. Oh god. But that doesn't help, unfortunately. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make him. Yeah, he's gone. You know, that time limit on the uh, bosses reminds me of. There was another game that we were playing and um, live streaming. It was another shoot em up that there was a time limit there. Um, I'm trying to think. The only, th the only thing I think we stream with a shooter was maybe maybe something from the for the Dreamcast or the Saturn. Uh, uh, no, it was for the Saturn. Oh, maybe it was a Radiant Silver Gun. Then maybe, maybe. Okay. I know that Ikaruga, after a while, the boss is like, yeah, I'm out of here, bro brother. Gotcha. I'm going somewhere else. All right. So... This. Yeah, Peter's saying that you can use forward up or forward down and capture enemies and make a crazy combo. Okay, forward up, forward down. There's some way to let go of the fairy, and the fairy actually does her thing. Now, she does it automatically um, if you're um, in low in health, but there's another way to do it, and I don't remember what it was. There we go. Wait, so what exactly is it? 
Do what? What the? What was it exactly? It was um, letting go. See the fairy on the back of my broom? Yeah. All right. So that fairy normally comes off and tries to collect me health when I'm low on mm -hmm. health. But you can actually get her to dismount early. There's like a button combo to do that as well. Man, there's a lot of button combos. I didn't even know about that one. Oh, oh my god. There's so many. Too many button combos. Too many. Too many. Get rid of them. Ah, oh, see, I was trying to do the, the Ford. Yep. The Peter shot, I guess you were doing. The Peter oh. shot. That's yeah, that's right. the new move. It's, and we'll call it the Peter shot. That's this thing. Right? The famous right Peter there. shot. There we go. Yeah, but Benjamin said uh, that's crazy about the time limit on bosses. Yeah, it's really weird. I, I think it's really funny, actually. It's the boss like, yeah, no, you're taking too long. I'm leaving. I got, <laughs> right. some, I got, a, I got a train to catch. I can't sit here and yeah. get I'm killed I'm not messing by you. with you. You're a rookie. Like, you know, it's really bad get when you're playing here, a game. Kid. And the, uh, and even the bosses just give up on you. Oh, we got, uh, we got the pandemonium in here. Fantastic. We love, we love having him in here. Okay. Yeah, and if you guys want to hop in the the Discord and uh -oh, chat, uh -oh, that'd be cool uh -oh, too. Crap. If you're able to, at least. Oh, I squished. Squishy. Yeah, you'll see it in a sec. Oh, oh no, I'm doing it again. Crap. Okay. If you went to the wrong direction. I did it like two times. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. Dang. Poor, P poor, poor Ben. I almost said poor Peter. You did it. You went through the oh top one again. Right, right. You think I would have learned from like the last time. I didn't do it the second time, but all right. Hey, here we go. when you're going this fast, you don't think that much. You just do. Right. You do or do not. There's no try. According to, yeah, according to the I famous Yondu. Right. Of course, the, the the famous Yondu from Star Battles. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Come on. So do you want to talk bad about some people? Because I'm feeling like I want to do some gossiping going on. Yeah? So that Peter, he just... That I don't Peter know. Guy. There's something about that Peter, man. Well, it's not really... I just... I mean, is, is it I just because he's Canadian? I don't know. There's Canadians, man. I don't like them at all. No. <laughs> Love Peter. No. Yeah, Peter's amazing. But, uh... You want to know a good member gotcha, of this yeah. crew that does some excellent writing? Peter. Peter is our man. Yep. Yeah. Also, yeah, Peter's heading out, so I'll see you later, Peter. Yeah, see you, Peter. Good luck at work. You get back to work, Peter. No slacking. Got him. Oof, you, I just saw you just got wrecked by that dragon. Oh, man. Yeah, totally. He just I demolished you. Oh, yes, Peter didn't leave. He heard us talking bad about him. Oh, okay, okay. So it's, it's, it's tea time. There we go. Tea sweet time. tea, sweet tea, all the way, sweet tea. Reminds me of that the the tea time kind of reminds me. I don't know. It's the the Black Sabbath song, Sweet Leaf. Yeah. It's a weird, it's like, <laughs> and it's like the goes into that song. Also, that wasn't me coughing. That's how the song starts. If you ever listen to Sweet Leaf by Black Sabbath. <laughs> the guy just starts coughing. Like, dun, 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 dun. Man, that song was really good. I, I I'll give you back up. Do a break in the law later. No. <laughs> right. No. But, uh, yeah, is there any games you're on the lookout for? Or any sort of objects? So, let's see. Which ones have I been looking arcades? at? The, uh... Okay, so I'm, I'm holding off on the arcades until I finish the ones that I'm working on right now. Um, that's that's not a very collector mentality. I know, but you should. You're supposed to have do, 25 do, projects and not finish any of them. Do you know how many games I have on this wall back here? I even had so many back here that I had to fill up on this wall over here and the other wall on the other side. I have so many games; it's ridiculous. Yeah, I had to cut down on some of the game buying. I uh, originally had a, I used to buy it like at least once a month, but I haven't bought some in like months. Mostly because I'm trying to save for that GTR. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. 
Well, not the not the not the the, the Nissan GTO, the R35, the 32, the Japanese import one, oh, the actual manual. Oh, that would be so much fun. I like me those GTRs. They're very nice cars. A lot a lot of people like talking bad. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. Oh crap, sorry. I'm bad. I got distracted by a text message. I'm sorry. No, 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 it happens. It's totally fine. It's 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 better than me driving and doing that, which I totally don't do. I don't drive and text guys. That's irresponsible. Irresponsible guys. That's not what I do. No. Irresponsibility? But, uh, what? We we're adults here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just do fat just just dump the clutch and just hit it on <laughs> hit it at a hundred down the freeway, you know. Right. No. If anything, that's something I should probably not do. I don't know. We should do. We should have a car cast eventually. Absolutely. Where you lead it mostly, and I, I make dumb, dumb, dumb statements. You're like, yeah, that's not true at all. <laughs> that would actually be kind of fun to do, like, uh, and get people in that are car people. You know, like uh, you and Nat. Nat is Nat is car person. And I didn't know Nat was a car person. Yeah, right. Gonna, yeah, she probably. She's probably, she probably, yeah, she's, yeah, I did not know that's pretty cool. Alright, so. Do you know what she drives? I don't remember. Because I think you drive a 60 something Mustang, right? Or is it yeah. 70? 66 Mustang. Gotcha, dang. 347 stroke engine, 5 speed transmission, disc brakes all the way around, Ooh, modified suspension. Those, oh, yeah. Getting that low flex in? No. <laughs> low key flex? No. <laughs> but no, that's really cool, though. What were the specs? Sorry, I cut you off like a rude person. Oh, no, it's okay. It's I've completely modified the car, so it is very, very not stock. Nice. I'm going to have you come out here for a vacation, but instead of a vacation, it's you just helping me install a turbo into my Civic. Hey, this sounds like what I do when I go help my uncle in Hawaii. He calls me out, hey, I want to see you, and then I get out there. No, it's mostly to work on cars, which is totally fine. It's so much fun to do. Install my turbo. No, but actually, if you're ever out here, I'd and and you and you'd be willing to, I'd pay you. I'd pay you to help me help help me out with that turbo. Uh, no money needed. I'll have to give you some money, but we'll we'll, we'll go into the details later. We'll Absolutely. I'll pay you in arcade games or whatever. No, uh, but but actually, I'm working on a, a car. My friend my friend has a '71 Charger that we're we're replacing the. Power the the power steering gearbox. Yeah. On sa uh, next Saturday. Okay. So yeah, it's gonna be my first car experience working on, so that's gonna be fun. Nice. We're just gonna we're hopefully we can knock it knock it out on a Saturday, but I I'm a bit doubtful. I got But you. you never know. Right. I don't know. Have you ever done install any of uh, any of the power steering gearboxes? Um, I did like a um, modified one for like. A bunch of the old vehicles, like 57 Bel Airs and Mustangs and stuff like that. So it's a little different, but I wonder how different it is for the newer one. Yeah, it's it's a 71, so I don't know. The, the thing is that he has, it's an automatic, so I don't know exactly what he's going to be doing sure. with that. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I'm surprised he went with an automatic. Those... Especially the older ones, those are probably a lot of trouble, especially on the transmission lines. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I, I don't know older cars as well as probably you do, so. I don't know how I'm supposed to beat this boss, because I, he's always to my back and under the lava. And yeah, like, I only got like... You can shoot backwards. Can you really? I think. A combo for that. Well, time's already up on your end, yeah. though. I was like, it's counting down on my end. It's like, yeah, it's probably done on your end of this point. Yeah, completely done. I'm already in tea time over here. Tea time. Time for Telly tea time. And I just realized you probably won't get that reference. Hey, my only guess is Alice in Wonderland. Uh, Teletubbies. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the angry hats. No. 
My my little my little sister watched it all the time, so I'm used to. She watched that in Elmo and stuff, and and I just watch it because it's like I'm watching her watching it. So right. That's usually what that's usually what nine year old Patrick did is have her in my room or watch her. Actually, no. No, no, she was like zero months old. Actually, wait, no, she was zero months. You know, like zero. She she wasn't even born. Ninety nine. She was just born. So okay, I got. Cause she came out the same year as the Dreamcast. She was born in May of ninety nine. Oh, okay. That's but an yeah. easy way to remember it. You know, because Dreamcast was just. It, it's so easy to remember when that happened. Yeah. Usually, I'm good with remembering her age because she's exactly seven years younger than me. And my brother is even easier. He's ten years younger than me. Exactly. Yeah. Well, not exactly. He's December, but you know. It's 10 years younger than me. Not exactly. But 10 years. Right. Be cool if it was 10 years, like exactly like April 9th. Right. Not 2002. Also, I kind of. It's totally over my birth year. Please don't steal my identity, please. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's pretty cool. I like, I like hanging out with them. They're cool dudes. Yeah, yeah, totally. Man, I think we lost a huge chunk of audience just talking about cars and our. Oh, is that what we did? Oh my god, we did. They were, we were at 10 and now we're down to 4. They are like, yeah, I don't want to... What is, the, what, what is a Mustang? What, what is, is this? this? What is this gearbox? All right, what is right. power steering? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We'll get back to the gaming here. Because this is, I think, the last stage, if I remember correctly. I'm surprised... Oh wow, that sounded really condescending. I'm surprised you made it this far. No, no, totally. I'm surprised I made it this far, too. But yeah, no, you're doing good, dude. Oh, we're up to seven, so we're good. We're back, back in the saddle again. Oh yeah. As said by our Lord and Savior Steven Tyler. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's. Man, we're getting off topic again. Going to go into music discussion. It's going to be another hour and a half. But uh, I was back in the games. Have you ever played the Aerosmith game Revolution X? Yes, at the arcade when it came out, I thought it was great. Yeah, I played a little bit, um, but it was like years later, like maybe in the early aughts. But it was really fun. I liked it, shooting the little C's at people. But I played the arcade version. I never had a Sega CD, so, so. right. Well, yeah. I do now, but back sure. in the day, I didn't. Yeah. See, I had a Sega CD back in the day, and then when it came out, it just wasn't that great. Wait, uh, did was it Sega CD that it came out for? Yeah, it was on Sega CD. Okay, okay. It, I don't think it came out on Saturn, but I might be wrong. Gotcha. Saturn surprises me. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, it didn't come out on Saturn. I was like, oh yeah, no, it came out on Saturn well, and like five different. You know what actually surprises me about the Saturn is how much actually came out for it, because you know it's such a niche system that I kind of expected that you know fewer games came out for this than the Dreamcast. And when you really look at how many came out for the Dreamcast, it's not really that many. Um. But, I think it's about the same amount, about 250 to something. Add in the Japanese stuff. Oh yeah, I thought you meant US. Oh right. Because I was oh. I was thinking US, but in terms of Japanese, yeah, the Saturn. There's more stuff that came out for Saturn than the N64 actually. Right. Oh man. Actually, cool. I wonder if I wonder if the US released the Saturn also oh, oh, cool. eclipsed the the US Nintendo 64 as well because I think. I think it was about in the 250 range as well, but I could be wrong. Right. But yeah, um, but yeah, no, actually, I was actually talking about to somebody about the count. Because yeah. there's a, a guy we know that's doing a collecting, a guy that we were talking about collecting for the Saturn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was saying that he was saying he had 249 US games and he only has 246. Yeah. And I think it includes the the variants as well. Oh man, yeah, that's for awesome. US collection. My rarest like variant that ones. I have for the Saturn is the um, Virtua Fighter Remix. It's the Canadian version, which is in a long box. Does everyone just say A, a. after every attack? A. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That'd We're be just great. digging. Oh my God, Canadian Lots and digs at Peter. <laughs> but I think Peter. I think Peter's the only one of us that actually has a complete Saturn collection. U.S. at least. I think so. Or, yeah. I guess in his case, North American because he's Canadian. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I'm nowhere near any complete collection of any sets of anything. All right, the closest right. I think is Dreamcast. See, I only get... I most I've got basically around 50 to 100 games for each system, approximately, you know, so... Um, yeah. It just I, depends on, you know, different variations it, and... Yeah, it really does. And, like, I, I'll take my favorites... Oh, gotta get into the, the fight, boss fight here. You probably should do that. Okay, okay. Oh, distracting. There we go. Ah, that was a good attack. Okay, that worked. Oh god, bats. So come back into the front. Oh, it's all right. I'm still good with lives. Once she comes back into it. All right, I am trying to combo these bats. You can see them going up in flames there. Ah, she went back into the background My mic was again. Muted. I made a bad reference, and okay. luckily it was muted, so you cannot hear it. Oh, that's fantastic. I was like... Worked for me. I was saying something about bats. Okay. Got so her. That's probably just the best you can work. I don't right. think I remember fighting her. Maybe I don't fight her on the easy difficulty. Huh. I don't know. Oh, you just killed her. You smoked. Just, just smoked wiped her. out. Yeah. Destruction. Okay. So my, my strategy with that one, I was just doing the back towards attack, which was just a little bit more powerful. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like doing the Mega Buster on Mega Man. And yeah. uh, just waiting for her to come in. And All right. Okay. Pat, all right, translate for us. What do we got here? Hi, I'm the king of this kingdom, and thank you for rescuing it. Oh, thank you very much. I'm hey, glad you, that you helped out really saving you. It. And yeah, anyways, <laughs> yeah, we worked hard and stuff. Okay, and this muttering of the audience. Oh, thank you very much for helping out and doing <laughs> stuff for the kingdom and and things like that. And <laughs> you know, we really appreciate. Okay, okay, that. all right, that's enough. <laughs> Yeah, I have no oh. idea what the hell they're saying. Yeah, no telling. Essentially, it's like, oh, hey, hey, you did this. Here's this candy. Oh, yeah, we eat it all. And she's like, no. And then comedy, anime comedy. Absolutely. There's no telling. Uh, to my anime knowledge, this has comedy. not been translated yet. And I don't know if it will just because... It, it's get on it, Noah. It, get on it, Noah. We're... No. Noah, Noah. <laughs> so, get um... on it, Noah, no. I don't know how vital this one is for knowing what's going on. Although we can probably Google Translate this, and I, I could just hold my phone up over the thing, but no, nah, that's totally fine. The game is so much fun to play. You don't have to know what it says to enjoy this one. Yeah, as you can that's a lot of the games. Yeah, at, well, as you can see, it took me three tries to actually get through the game. Um, normal mode, so it can be done, because... Um, this is a difficult game. It's a little harder than it looks, especially if you're trying to get the combos, which Peter is really good at. Um, Peter's too good at it. Yeah, Peter's too good. Well, Peter's too good at all the games that he plays. I mean, like, it, we can't compete with that. And uh, so, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, Pat, I very much appreciate you joining in. Mm -hmm. and, no uh, problem. I enjoyed being on with you. Absolutely. And everybody back As home. Always. Yeah. Uh, Pat, hang on for a second. And uh, everybody back home, um, we really enjoy your views. We really enjoy your uh, interactions. We uh, enjoy this type of stuff. And we're promising to have a lot more coming on in the future as well. So uh, everybody have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Good night. Good fight. <laughs>